All right, <clears throat> this is an iPad running the latest available firmware for the iPad 2. It's an iPad 2. Um, and I'm sh I'm, I have Happy Chick installed in emulators and stuff, but I am not actually on. I'm not jailbroken. So we go here, and I'll show you that I am on, if I could ever remember what the build is. And it's here somewhere where I can't see it. I think. Is it? Oh no, it's under about or some bull crap. 9.3.5. There you go. Version 9.3.5. So we get rid of this. And here we have Happy Chick installed. I also have GBA for iOS. But with Happy Chick, you can install basically any game. You can find a game, you download it, it downloads the emulator, sets everything up for you. I normally don't use it because it uses outdated, crappy emulators. But in this case, I'll make the uh, exception. Honestly, I have other devices that run emulators way better. But if I could install emulators onto my toaster, I probably would. So I put them on here. Uh, the iPad I actually got as a freebie. Somebody gave it to me uh, when they were upgrading. So... I have it. And I like uh, uh, iOS for their musician applications, their guitar and stuff that Android doesn't have. But, so while I'm here, I have Final Fight on here, Super Mario Brothers. Not all these games run perfectly. Surprisingly enough, Super Mario Brothers doesn't run that well. Like I said, the emulators aren't the best, so um, there's that. So we have Super Mario Brothers running. Uh... Yeah, so they didn't release a jailbreak for this firmware for 32-bit devices, so um, there is sound. I think it's just the game actually doesn't give you sound when you're in the demo. Uh, let's start. Or select and start. Okay, so let's see. We, get, we should get sound. Yeah, there you go. So here we have... I don't have a controller for this, but... Yeah, see, you get that kind of scratchy. And then it calms down. And, it, it, and I'm sure it's, you know, I'm sure the iPad can run this game. The iPad 2 can run this game. It's just this shitty emulator. Oh, God. And then I get an email from a YouTube thing about, oh, I think somebody's spamming me. I'm not sure. Maybe not. So... Not the best with touchscreen uh, controls. Unless, of course, the game the game is actually optimized properly for touchscreen controls, but this is just a virtual on-screen pad. And you see there's crackling and slowdown. Genesis runs fine, though. Super Nintendo's here and there. You hear that crackling. And I've been, I think I've been putting my hand in front of the face, in front of the screen the entire time. The face. Here we got that going on. And, uh. <laughs> Why am I sitting here doing the whole friggin' level? Yeah, trying to do this with, uh, let's see, a good two fingers. There you go. Okay, so, yeah, it's playable, but it's not the greatest. Um, down here is the settings. You have save states. Uh, you can switch to the second player. You can go to game settings. And, uh, yeah, there's anti-aliasing. If you want to make it slower. Um... Sticky controller. There's controller layout. Uh, video mode requires you to just quit Happy Chick and then save state stuff and add to favorites. Okay. Oh, I can also exit out and just choose another game from here. Those menus are fairly inconsistent, but they do work. Now let's go to. This actually runs better. Uh, Street Fighter Third Strike. Three Third Strike, whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so this game actually runs better than the NES uh, game that I just played, Mario Brothers. Uh, let me get this wire out of the way here. And I just 
can the game, or it actually just can't itself, um, launch it again. Oh, well, it was running before. Um, but it wants to make me a liar. I'll try one more time. Because I was playing this game. Okay, doesn't want to play. So I lied. I'm a big fat fucking liar. Uh, let's try Street Fighter Alpha 3. Oh, there you go. Don't give a shit, I'm not going to be able to play well with touch screen. If you have some kind of controller you can use, that'd be good. Okay, so let's get fucked up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How am I supposed to play this like this? Uh, duh, um. Oh wow, I did something. <laughs> Yeah. There's no way in hell I could play like this. <laughs> oh, there you go. I did something. Can't, uh... Uh, pull off the... A... Oh, shit. I did something. <laughs> so this runs fine. I don't have any problems with that, except for the fact that I can't play it. Or at least playing like that. Um, let's check the settings and see what's available. Uh, not much. Uh, there's uh, something in Chinese which just kicked me out. So, yeah. So that's that. And then uh, there's uh, Golden Axe which runs. Uh, ooh, this this game is good. This game runs well. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons: Shadow over Mastara. And we are going to run that. Or is it this? Uh, yeah, it's a different different emulator, I guess. They have two different versions of main here, so sometimes the game will freeze and then it will reboot into a different version of main, so you have to wait a little while. Um, and this game runs fine. Perfectly playable. It's a really fun game. Definitely worth checking out. There are console ports of this game as well. And there's it's on Steam. But you can also drop it in an emulator. So. So. Fun game. Very hard to stop playing, but I'm going to stop. Um, exit out of there. I think I already have a game started for that. Um, here we have Sega Genesis. Yeah, it's... I, I already started Road Rash. For some reason, this is bugging out on me. Um, okay, now it's bugging out, so I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I don't know. It's freaking out on me, and I don't know what to do with that. So I'm going to have to end it and restart it. It was working fine before. There. Oh, it's going to ask you if you want to update, hit cancel, because that's going to break the application. It won't go through, it won't be able to install, and then it'll t totally just break it, and you'll have to reinstall the, uh, the app. So, yeah, so let's go to my games again, and try to, try to launch, uh, where Freak is it? Uh, it must be at the top, yeah, because the game you played last goes to the top. Uh, doesn't want to play? For some reason this is now acting up. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's acting up now. I don't know why. I can pull up the settings. No? 
I don't know what's going on there, but it was playing fine before. Okay. I don't know. But it was working, just not now. Anyways, you get the idea. You can download. Oh, let me just bring a. Um, I can't get out of here unless I kill it. Because I can't find it. You motherfucker. There you go. Come on, man. Anyways, let me flip this again. Cancel update. And, you know, you can go through here. And there's a lot of anywhere from applications. I don't see any pirated application. I mostly see, like, free applications from the App Store are listed. But nothing like... Unless... I thought I saw Minecraft somewhere. But I think that may have been in a different app. You know, like, there's not... Everything's free. Like, Modern Combat 5 is free. Gangstar Vegas is free. You know, free to play stuff like that so I don't know what's inside those applications I only know that those are available for free on the App Store and the Play Store so but you can go to the category section and once you get to the category section it'll bring you a list of unfinished um, wow it's just pictures and it's very few names okay Anyway, so they have iOS, PSP, N64, MAME, SNES, Famicom? I think so. Uh, and that's uh, what? It's another arcade emulator. DS, PlayStation, which doesn't work well. Um, GBA, Genesis, and Game Boy, Game Boy Color. So, yeah, that's what's here. So you can look through that and uh, pick your games. And, yeah, so there's a list of games under there. Uh, we'll go to MAME. MAME, I was surprised it works fairly well. Some games not so much, but a good amount of them that I didn't expect to work work perfectly fine. You have to load. You're not getting Mortal Kombat running on this. It's there, but it's not going to run. No way in hell you're going to be playing it in a playable fashion. Oh yeah, Street Fighter, Double Dragon, which will probably run like, run like shit. Um, Altered Beast. Um, whatever. Fatal Fury. Samurai Showdown 3. I have Aliens vs. Predator. The side-scrolling beat-em-up. Um, yeah, so, oh, here's Samurai Showdown, I was looking for the first Samurai Showdown, and I couldn't find it, there you go, well, now we can download a game, so, downloading Sam Samurai Showdown, I'm not gonna play it, cause, you know, it's just gonna take too long, so it's downloading, and it's downloading, and it's downloading. And it's downloading. And maybe I will play it. Because I'm sure there are people that, that would like to see it playing. If it can play. Through the emulator provided. Alright, so we'll just do a quick playthrough. Not a playthrough, but... Let's, we can load this up. Get this stupid wire out of here. Oh, this is where... This is one thing I was talking about. It freezes... A lot of times, and then it will wait a second and say that it's looking for a different version of MAME, and then it will boot into another version of MAME. So, Yama. Let's see. It says, trying to do whatever for a different version of MAME, blah, 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 whatever. So, A little crackling, I hear. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm hearing some crackling on the uh, audio. Whatever. I turned off the button animation. Oh. 
so it doesn't affect the performance. Yeah, fairly playable. I mean, here's some little crackling here and there, but it seems playable. Of course, I can't play them very well with the screen, and I'm covering the screen. <laughs> There's that uh, button combinations. And whatever, that's how it runs. Just want to do a quick, quick play, th play of that, whatever you want to call it. So that's the end. Uh, thank you for watching.